Hey guys, what's up? Tamara here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hidden Bodies by Caroline Kepnes. This is an adult thriller slash suspense title. If you're unaware, this is the second book about Joel Goldberg and the first book was titled You. I did review that earlier in the year, I believe. I don't really remember when, but I'll go ahead and link the video if you'd like to check that out. If you haven't read You, no worries. You really don't have to read You to read Hidden Bodies. Although, it is a nice segue to see exactly what you're dealing with going into Hidden Bodies because if you go back and watch my previous review, you will see that I think Joe is a crazy, crazy guy and he is he is a sociopath and that's the thing about Joe this whole book is from his point of view we get to see from the point of view of a killer of a sociopath who thinks that what he's doing is totally reasonable he um, is one of these people you never want to meet in real life to be honest this character is just very crazy for lack of a better word I know I've said crazy a couple times but that is how I feel about it Captain's writing style is very similar in Hidden Bodies as it was in You. So if you enjoyed You, you will enjoy Hidden Bodies. There is a lot of the same situations going on, a lot of, um, as far as Joe is concerned, the way he thinks about things is, are kind of the same. Unfortunately, um, this is kind of a downside, but in my opinion, he really hasn't grown at all as a character. He's still the same, just sick in the head person. But with that said, it is still thrilling. It is still, you know, shocking. The shock value is high. You still go, wow, I cannot believe he did that. Or wow, did he really get away with that? And then as the body count just rises, it just gets more and more crazy and unexpected. Like you already know he's going to kill people. You already know he's crazy. You already know he has no reason um, to believe that what he's doing is wrong because he's so messed up in the head. But he just keeps pushing the limits. And that is kind of what's interesting about this book. Another good thing that I like about this book was I felt that the author is really in tune with you know what is socially um, going on right now as far as social media and um, things that are on trend right now and you know there's a lot of mention of you know food places or certain things going on that are very trendy and that comes across a lot like there's a mention of an Airbnb and that's something fairly new but you know it's kind of making them rounds everyone wants to try an Airbnb instead of a hotel or celebrity situations or the paparazzi all these type of things that are going on in our media today they're kind of touched on in Hidden Bodies, and that's kind of cool. Being in tune with pop culture is especially important for this book because Joe is all about trying to be a producer, a writer. He wants to get into the movie game. And guess what? Movies are being brought up like The Fast Five or The Wolf of Wall Street. So again, so social media and pop culture really play a huge part in this book outside of the just plain murdering. So how does Joe get to Los Angeles. If you haven't read the book, I should mention that Hidden Bodies picks up almost exactly where you left off. We find Joe leaving New York and headed to Los Angeles in pursuit of Amy. If you've read you, you know who Amy is and why Joe is in pursuit of her. So he's there, he's looking for Amy, he stumbles into a group of people that are all about the movie business. So Joe does get sidetracked with his agenda, but it's kind of comical in a way, dark comedy mind you, um, about how he kind of stumbles through his life in Los Angeles. Of course, Joe falls in with a wealthy group, a group that has a lot of connections and things like that. As far as the conclusion is concerned, I liked it and I didn't like it. You know, you guys know I like a realistic ending and that is sort of what we got with Hidden Bodies. It kind of let us draw our own conclusions about Joe. What happened to him? Did he finally pay for what he's done or did he get away with it? It's up to us to make that choice. Now, with that said, I still wished I had more of a solid conclusion with what happened to him. I mean, he just, he got away with so much stuff, so many murders. I would have liked to see him pay for it in the end. And we, you know, we just don't get that. It's up to us to decide what happens. And you know, it is what it is. So with all of that said, I rated Hidden Bodies 
three out of five bookmarks. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it um, not as much as you. I feel like you really pulled me into the world and Joe was just astonishing to me. I never read another book with a character like Joe and it was very unique. But to read more of this, I wanted a little more transformation in Joe than what we got. And yeah, that's that. Now, I do think that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you don't need to read you to read Hidden Bodies. And if Hidden Bodies is where you want to start, I think you will probably rate it higher than me because you hadn't read about Joe before. So that's all I have to say about that. And as always, I would appreciate if you like and shared this video and please subscribe while you're here. And until next time, happy reading. Bye guys.